following the video portraits from week 13, um, a quality which definitely stood out to me was Daniel's use of recurring diegetics paralleling the narrative. And after watching all those videos, one thing which I think that I would have done differently is maybe a more serious topic or, you know, played around more with audio. Now, as for my outlook on vlogs, I never really felt anything strong about them. I didn't hate them. I didn't like them really, but they were cool at some points. However, the heavy restriction on copyright really stopped it from being as fun as it could have been. All the fun stuff is illegal, I guess. But it still was a decent learning process. Um, the best prompt for learning experience, I think, were the ones where it wasn't just reflection, but instead of doing something all on our own. For instance, the haiku, as you know, as limited and restrictive that it was, um, and in particular, talking about a piece of media that affected you recently. And my one was on a video game called Noita, I believe, and that was a lot of fun to do, even though it broke a lot of rules about copyright. And they were a good learning experience because I think I learn best when I'm actually enjoying doing something or talking about a subject which I thoroughly enjoy. And finally, for the peak light bulb moments in, throughout the course. As for what I've learned over the course, I think what I've learned most was definitely using Adobe Audition. It was the program I've worked the least with out of all the Adobe programs. And it was a lot of fun learning how to do a bunch of cool shit with it. Now, as for my preferred way of learning, Definitely kinesthetically, um, getting my hands on stuff and actually doing something is the best way I learn. And especially so if it's about something which I enjoy. Then in that case, I learn it like 10 times better if I'm being honest. In regards to some of the reading that we've done, the one that impacted me the most was definitely about the gutter and cutting. I used to cut just through pure intuition. Um, never really thought about it. I only cut if it felt right, but now I put more thought into it. And, you know, it helps me realize that cutting holds a lot more narrative impact than you think. Now, as for the most challenging thing in the course, for me, it was definitely turning in the vlogs on time because I'm going to be honest, I always forget about the vlogs until like a couple hours before they're due. And so I kind of rush it, type something up and then edit it as fast as I can just to get out of the way, <laughs> um, just like I am doing with this vlog. And finally, as for what I discovered about my developing creative practice, is that you don't always get to do what you want and sometimes you have to edit some pretty mundane things like with these vlogs um you don't always get to do exactly what you want but you can always try and like twist it around in order to do something which you find pretty enjoyable and i've learned how to do that and squeeze out some more joy out of these things and so even though i don't 100 percent enjoy doing these mundane tasks um, like the vlogs i still do manage to squeeze some joy out of them just simply because i changed my perspective a bit and that's it, that's my final vlog. And I can't tell you how relieved I am about not having to worry about these things ever again.